Good morning guys and welcome back to today's video. Today, Storm and Lady finally meet. We're gonna go check on them and make sure everything's okay. This morning, Lady gave Storm a couple of good kicks and everything was fine. Who is it? I heard someone running. Oh, hi. Ripping down that fence, Jesus. Hi, lady. Look at her legs. <laughs> Every, oh my gosh, what happened? They're ripping it down. They're ripping down that fence. Uh -huh, princess. Yeah, she's like, I don't want to just stand here. But Sophie puts that clay on her after every ride. Oh, she really wants this wood. She really wants the wood. Oh it's my gosh, why in the world? And she's chewing it to bits. Hi, Pen, I'm coming for you. Do Clearly, that? don't eat the fence. That's not cool. No, because I heard someone run over here. Oh my gosh, stop. Stop. Betty's like, oh yeah, break free. Oh my gosh. So uh, clearly, Storm has run her off. <laughs> because no, she just ran over here. I heard her. Oh, she just ran over here? Yeah. She's Come on, let's friendly. go find your boy. We often get comments about from people saying like, why are you wearing Crocs? When we wear Crocs, we're always really careful. I, we're always careful, like I'm careful with my heels because the front of me is covered and Crocs are super powerful, like way better than sneakers or running shoes. They're not covered in the back. So I'm always really careful about horses coming up behind me when I'm wearing my Crocs. So even though we're wearing Crocs, we're always super safe. The one horse I don't trust Coming up behind me though is this one. I wouldn't trust honey out of all of them. She's like, I really want to do something. Are you unhappy with your place in the herd right now? She doesn't like being in a field. Yeah. Just before she worked like probably every day. Yeah, She's she probably, she probably did work every day before. And we're over here like, don't work her too much. She's like, what are we doing today? <laughs> she wants Penny. <laughs> so we got her aw so if we got her used to the girls and she really wants to be with them. Penny's in heat and Penny's like in love with her. Penny's in heat and really in love with her. Oh my gosh. I just caught it on camera, Penny and Lady grooming each other over the fence. Love these shelters, even though they're not fancy to look at because they're old. They actually have these really long sides that help protect from the sun and the rain and especially from the wind. But it was full of weeds. So Sam came out here yesterday and cut them all down. I know they're prickle bushes. We got to get them out. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Sophie loves raising babies. Even if they're sassy like this thing. Well, I mean, she's going through her her teenage years. Can you get the bird poop off her? How'd you get bird poop on you? So, tell us what happened this morning. Lady kicked it like twice and then he backed off. Why did that happen? Because Lady wanted honey and everyone else wanted honey. Yeah, so honey is the, the, the one that everybody in our herd wants to protect. Lady wanted honey back. And Honey was so excited to be with her mom again that it made Lady kind of push Gracie aside and then Storm got mad protecting Gracie and... Storm has a small face. Yeah, he does have a small face. Look at Lady. <laughs> She's like, you traitors! Why are you being nice to them? They stole, they stole my baby! Anyway, everybody seems happy except for Lady. <laughs> Where's your fly mask, dude? It was really windy this morning, so we didn't put them on. I cannot wait for all this to come out. This is how you do it, you guys. This is how you take your horses off the grass. <laughs> this is how you take them off the grass with no lead rope. Come on. And you get one that listens. <laughs> Gracie's a good girl. You just gotta 
Or you do that. <laughs> Come on, honey. Whoa. <laughs> Why don't you put lady with the girls? Cause. That's where she wants to be. Well, I mean, I, I'm such a softie. She literally has to get used to being with all the horses. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, there's a gate there! Holy camoly. <laughs> she understood you. <laughs> That's how you bring lady in. <laughs> She's so heavy. She doesn't know where she wants to go. And he's like, I'm coming. Yeah, and he's like, I'll come with you. Oh, look, she's screwed up. Oh, she's cute. People say honey's too fat. Honey's not fat. Well, she's a little fat, but she's not like. She's like a good weight. I, I don't think she's a bad weight. Oh. Don't go under that fence. <laughs> I keep telling dad to fix it and he doesn't. And she's, uh, she's under it. <laughs> She's like, you can't tell me what to do. Have you guys heard of uh, 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 autonomy? It's where people get stressed out. Or well, actually, it's more than that. It's where people feel like they haven't had a choice in something and that their opinion doesn't matter. And it's called a, a autonomy. And they can, when people feel like they don't have a choice or that they're being overpowered or bullied, it can cause like a... Uh, it can activate their nervous system and cause like a fight or flight response. It happens to people all the time. It's just a different uh, general makeup of your brain. Some people have that and some people don't. Just like some people are hyper and some people are not. But I feel like Honey does not like to be told what to do. It, it, it activates her fight or flight response. If you try and boss her around, <laughs> And she does what she wants. I often get comments from people saying like, just put your horses together. They'll be fine. You're taking the slow way. It's gonna take forever. You're drawing it out. But for us personally, there are so many ways to do things. And yeah, you're not wrong. We're taking the slow way. It's gonna drag it out. And that works for some people and it doesn't work for some people. Everybody has their own way. We're most comfortable with letting our horses figure things out slowly over a long, time and making it as gentle as possible on us and on them. Look how much bigger Lady is. Like you can't really tell the size of Lady on camera but that's how much bigger she is than Penny. She is a powerful, strong, powerful horse. So are you, Pen. <laughs> you, have a, a, you have a crazy owner. I'm so proud of you for putting that on her after your ride though. Like that's impressive, Sophie. I'm so proud of you that you did that. So we put this on and leave it on for 24 hours. And I don't know if it's better than like the liniment spray, but it sticks. Do you want to come in and get a brush? You want to come in and get, cause you got some knots in your hair, I see. You want to come in and get a brush? Yeah, they're off the field. But wait, I have to tell you something. Lady ripped down this fence. You can see that. The, whole the whole thing, no matter what side she's on. Are you gonna be able to fix it? Just put an electric fence there. Put a, yeah, Sophie's so smart. Put an electric fence around it. Look over here. She ripped the boards down. She rips the boards down. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good, lady. She wants to be with the girls because that's what she's used to, but it's time for her to get used to the other guys so that they can all be together. She's literally the least pushy horse to people, but... <laughs> hey, Willow's fat, but... She thinks, she thinks she can put... Look at her ears. She thinks she can push her body through the gates. Willow's fat, but you can still see her ribs. I think she has like a wide rib cage. She does have a really wide rib cage. Oh, that's the saddest thing. I don't think she can fit through the gate anymore. I was thinking we should have put your garden in that middle row. Yeah. Should have put that garden in the middle. There yeah. All that time I was like, what should we do with this 
this space over here. I should have put my garden in there. Chickens can't get there. It's such a huge space, huge space though. Can you please be nice to the new horse? She just wants a little bit of love. This is your chance to make a new friend. It's not a gelding, but... It's not a gelding, but she's fun. She want to play all the time. <sighs> he says. Penny! Penny! Come on! Work it! Get to a better day A rocking chair and a glass of wine In the shade of a tree and I'm feeling fine There's not a lot to ask When life is going by so fast One breath away Step up and say never been one to love having her ears touched and she always does it and lets me but only because she thinks that I'll give her treats so especially this one so even though she doesn't like it she still lets me do it yeah I know I know I know what's your problem <laughs> what's, what's wrong with you She's like, what about my turn? You get a turn every day. Penny only gets every few days. You're always being brushed. It feels so rewarding though to brush your horse. Oh, I know I always cry wolf when our animals go missing and I can't find them. It always freaks me out. But the problem is, Watch is that this time it's a baby goat. Watch his lady has him, is caring for him. Listen, <laughs> do you hear a goat screaming? That's not a good sign. Anytime a baby goat gets free, if he's not with the other goats, then he's screaming. I just don't know how he would get out. So the fact that I don't hear him means that he's too far for me to hear him, or there's a reason he's not screaming for us. Love how nobody believes me. So if he's like, yes, I'm sure he's fine. He's just here. Nobody ever believes me. There's a chicken. Are you getting worried now? No. Don't show up. No. What? I didn't check the hut. He's in his little hut. He's in his little hut. Oops. <laughs> she zoomed in though. <laughs> I know. She can fit through a crack, you guys. Look how big she's getting. She just had her lunchtime <laughs> bottle. She's a big girl. <laughs> are you okay? Why are you in there? I sat in here and gave the pig an apple. So I don't know why he didn't come out. Are you hurt? Are you hurt, little boy? He's not hurt, Mom. I know, if they sleep, it just confuses me because typically they don't sleep. He doesn't like us, so why would he come out for us? Oh, here he comes. Are you okay? I should give him a bottle. Sam thinks I should give him a bottle because he's tiny, but he's not too tiny.